mad dog Ian Wilson from Stockport, Cheshire. Trained down especially for this one to take on the lightweight champion, Ted McCoy, and here he is. Mark Ted McCoy bringing in the flag and a hell of a lot of cheers with it because he's a very popular young man indeed. Eight three-minute rounds, two falls to decide this one. Thank you, Mr. Walton. Ladies and gentlemen, our main event this lunchtime is a championship contest for the British Lightweight Championship and belt to be wrestled over eight three-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions or a knockout will decide the winner. Presenting on my right in the red corner, the youngest ever British Lightweight Champion from Keithley in Yorkshire, Kit McCoy. In the blue corner, the challenger from Stockport in Cheshire. Would you welcome, please, Ian Wilson. And the referee for this contest from Leeds, Mr. Martin Warren. Martin Warren, the young dentist. Yes, he's a qualified dentist. <clears throat> Part-time wrestling referee. He takes charge of this lightweight Right, gentlemen, title match, title three matched. title at stake, usual rules, eight rounds, three minutes each round. Usual British rules, either of you, any questions? In the event of a draw, the belt stays with McCoy. In the event of you being disqualified, the belt passes to your challenger. You're both clear on that. All right, shake hands, back to your corners, best of luck. Blue corner, Wilson, red corner, McCoy. For Ryan, yes, Kid McCoy has uh, defended his title quite a few times, but nobody's got it off him yet, this young fella. Brilliant find he was. Second away in round one. And here we go for our second title bout of the afternoon. The lightweight championship of Great Britain held by the young fella, Mark Kid McCoy, in white, white leotard. And his opponent, the challenger from Stockport, Ian Wilson. Perfect wrestler's bridge to the right. It's his feet and head. Trying for a double knee, but a little bit too far over. Again, the uh, lead back is the bridge. There's the speed of the young kid. Nice lift, Wilson. Too. I know them quite well. All the way from Mansfield, they come to every wrestling show in the near the north. They travel all over the country watching wrestling, those two. They're really great fans. seen Kid McCoy held for so long for that. Much more like the one we know. Oh, 
Just 10 seconds. And Ian Russell coming in too fast there. For his man was up, but he won't do him any good. Let's have a look at Bart McCoy. Kid McCoy from Keithley, Yorkshire. Local boy, son, of course, of the famous wrestler at mid-heavyweight, King Ben. And what a wrestler his dad was and why he's so, been so well taught. But directly we first saw him at 16 years old, we thought, what a potential, this guy. And he became the youngest lightweight champion ever to be champion of Great Britain. Seconds away, round three. This man trained on nine pounds to get this uh, weight right for this afternoon's bout. Round three, six to go, and still no score. Ian Wilson, Stockport. Kid McCoy, the champion, yes. local boy from Keithley here yes. in Yorkshire. Yes. Trying for an early submission. He tried with the Boston at the end of round two. Failed with that, and he didn't make it with that either. This kid doesn't give up easily. Straight arm left and could be a submission here. He's aiming for it. It's a third of submission attempt he's made. Semi jab strangle hold. Yes. Dishing out the weakness, Wilson. Now straight arm left again. He can submit this time. Yes, he has. Submission, and Wilson is halfway there in just one minute, 31 seconds of round three. A straight arm left. Ian Wilson gets the first submission. And one minute, 31 seconds of round three. The first submission to the challenger, Ian Wilson. Not a very popular fall, but this is how he did it. He posted him first. He weakened him several times before that. The posting didn't help. Now he lifts that left arm, straight arm left, and all the way up. No chance of him getting the feet on the hips to ease it for himself. So one up then, the round four just coming up. Second away, round four. Sue and Betty in the front there didn't like that at all. They're all, all for Kid McCoy, obviously. So five rounds to go. Wilson in the dark gear, leading the champion by one fall in He's really doing some good work, Wilson, weakening his man very well indeed, systematically, and then going in for the kill. This could be a backbreaker submission again. If he gets this one, he's got the bout and the title. Yes. Yes. Trying to make him give, but he won't give. Thinking very seriously of a surfboard here, Wilson. Yes. If he can reach the arms now and lean his man back, he might not have a room behind him. Yes. Don't think he's got enough room behind yes. him anyway. Even if he gets him up yes. in the surfboard. Yes. Come on. Come on. But he won't get, Come on. do any good at all staying Come there. On. He's got to get his man up on top of the surfboard. If he can do it, and if he's got enough room behind him. There it is, nicely further shoulder press, but through the ropes underneath the bottom rope and break. Just didn't allow enough room there. He ran out of mat. Still a backhammer, Wilson. Face front. Posting. 
minute to go. Backhammer to Wilson. Kid McCoy reaching back nicely. This is a specialty get out now. But he went to the trouble there. Didn't quite complete the escape. And now he has double knee and he's got his folding press there. With the double knee hold, there it is. Equalizer to Kid McCoy in round four in just two minutes, 19 seconds. In two minutes, 19 seconds of round four, the equalizing fall to Kid McCoy! Spectators here much happier now. And this is how Kid McCoy got the equalizer. He, he, he fluffed that move completely. He didn't mean to do that at all. Almost got caught. Wilson almost gets a Boston Crab on him. Can't turn him. Goes underneath. He waits for his legs to come up, which they obviously have to do to try and get the double leg Nelson. And McCoy holds it in a folding press. Second play, round five. Round five, four rounds to go, and the score one fall each. And still Wilson dishing out some pretty good punishment on McCoy, the champion. McCoy, not his usual speedy self here this afternoon. Well, that one all right. Now he's got a weakened right knee, Wilson. And McCoy knows it. Let's see if he goes for it. Yes, he does, immediately. And again, the right knee has gone for. He's weakened that leg for a purpose. I think, that, yes, that this man was still down. Referee Martin Warren making sure he understands he won't take any of that nonsense. Two, two minutes to go in the fifth. Yes. But uh, he might be just laying it on a bit here, knowing kid. Yes, there he was. He was laying it on to bring Wilson forward, and that's what he gets for it. Wilson was getting too cocky, and McCoy gets the winner in round five. In just one minute, 57 seconds of round five, McCoy, the champion, retains his belt by two falls to one. And there's his dad, King Ben, coming in to congratulate him. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just before we present the champion with the belt, I am going to bring into the ring now a wrestler, a former wrestler who has been in the wrestling profession for 50 years and is the former Commonwealth Heavyweight Champion. I'm talking about the legendary Count Bartelli. There he is, Jeff Count Bartelli. One of the truly great. Now, Count, just stay there a second. I've got something for you, mister. Count, would you please accept this on behalf of all the wrestlers and the promoters, everybody in pro wrestling. It's a big thank you in our own simple way for 50 years of fantastic 50 years. service. 67 years old now and looking as fit as he always did. Really tremendous. Count Bartelli, one of the real greats of the wrestling business over the years. Mr. Bartelli, you're used to wearing belts, especially championship belts. Would you do me the honor of presenting the British 